All right, here we've got a particularly nasty ratio question that I think it will be best to answer with lots of pictures, so prepare for some, some top diagrams. Gina wants to make drinks to sell at a charity event. She will mix one part cordial with four parts water to make the drink. Gina wants to make 10 litres of the drink. She will buy cordial in 750 milliliter bottles. How many 750 milliliter bottles of cordial will Gina need to need to buy to make 10 litres of the drink? All right. The first thing to talk through is what this thing at the top means. One part cordial with four parts water. Well, here's my bottle of cordial. Uh, it is what it is. There's my, there's my bottle of cordial. And what this thing up here means, that one part cordial goes with four parts water, is that if I have one bottle of cordial, I need four bottles of water. So for every one bottle of cordial, I need four bottles of water. Now, it doesn't matter what size these are. Uh, if I had uh, a litre of cordial, I'd need four litres of water. If I had a gallon of, of cordial, it would be four gallons of water. But I don't have any of those. What I actually have is 750 millilitres. I have 750 millilitres of cordial. So if I have 750 millilitres of this, how much, of, how much water do I need? Well, like I was just saying before, whatever I have in cordial, I need four times as much water. So I've got 750 millilitres of cordial, so I need four times as much water. So for every 750 millilitres of cordial, I need four lots of 750, like this. I need four lots of 750 water, which altogether is 3,000 millilitres water. I'm going to label that in my working out. So 3,000 millilitres of water for one bottle Cordial. Cordial. So for this one bottle, I'm going to need four lots of it in water, which we know is this many milliliters. So how much drink does that make altogether? Well, if I've got 750 milliliters of, of uh, a cordial here and another four lots of it, then altogether I've got 750, 750, 750, 750, all of these numbers that work out to be this, which is our water, which we just worked out is 3,000 millilitres. Oh, missed out a zero, didn't I? 3,000 millilitres of water plus the 750 millilitres of cordial. So 3,000 plus 750. So if I mix together one bottle of cordial with all the water it needs all together, that's going to make this many millilitres of drink, all from one bottle. Okay, now let's come back to the question here. She wants to make 10 litres of the drink and wants to know how many bottles of cordial she'll need. We know that one bottle of cordial makes this many millilitres, but she wants 10 litres. How do they relate to each other? Well, we need to remember the conversion to go from litres to millilitres or backwards. Uh, for this question, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We just need to convert this many milliliters into the same units as, as what we're using for the drink. I'm going to choose to convert this 10 liters into milliliters, but you can do it either way. Uh, it doesn't matter if you choose to convert this into liters. So there are a thousand milliliters in one liter, which means if I want 10 liters, I need to times that by a thousand, because there's a thousand milliliters in just one liter, so in ten liters there's a thousand times, there's, there's, there's ten times as a thousand, which comes to ten thousand milliliters. So this number, remember, is how much she wants to make. How much Gina wants. Good. So Let's come back to our working out. And actually, sorry, I'm going to copy what I did here into my working out box because I don't want to get sloppy. I want to make sure that I show everything I'm doing in my working out box just like you'll need to. Uh, so I converted 10 litres into millilitres by timesing by 1,000 because there's 1,000 millilitres in every litre. Okay, good. Um, 
so we've got this many millilitres from just one bottle and we want to get to this many millilitres. Well, how can we work out how many millilitres of drink we get from two bottles? Remember, this is from one bottle, so how do I go from that to two bottles? Well, I just, I just times it by two. Two bottles can make twice as much. So 3750, remember the number of millilitres of drink I get from one bottle, times it by two, because I now have two bottles. So two bottles of cordial makes me this much. Uh, I'm just going to label it again from two bottles. Cordial. Now we're still trying to get all the way up to 10,000. At the moment I'm only at 7,500, so I'm going to need another bottle. So let's try three bottles, which should be 3,750, the amount from one bottle, times by three, for three bottles. And that gives me this number. And again, I'm just going to label it. Okay, so we're trying to get to this number. One bottle, definitely not enough. Two bottles, closer, but not enough. This many, from three bottles, is over 10,000, which is exactly what we need. If I were to choose this number, which is under 10,000, she doesn't have enough cordial to make this many millilitres of drink. If I choose this number, which is over 10,000, she's definitely got enough, and she has a bit of cordial left over. She doesn't have to use it all. Okay, so how many 750 millilitre bottles of cordial will Gina need to buy to make 10 litres of the drink? She is going to need three bottles. So this one is a bit of a beast. There was lots of stuff we had to do. We had to work out how much water we need to mix with one bottle of cordial to make the drink the right strength. We then needed to find out how much drink that one bottle has now made overall. We had to then convert our 10 litres that she wants into millilitres, so we're being consistent with the units we're using. Uh, and then we just took this number and times it by 2 and then by 3 until we got enough drink together so that Jean is happy with what she's got. Good gosh, what a question. Beast.